And we're back. Welcome to vlog 100. Somebody says I should do something special for my 100th uh, vlog, and here it goes. Ready? That's about it. Um, I didn't have anything. It's just a vlog. It's just a number. That's cool that we got to 100. Uh, and I'm getting like a thousand views at this point in time on my vlogs, which is amazing. Um, we also discussed, uh, well, um, 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 Arnold was curious. Anyway, so he asked, I digress. Uh, he asked what I did before I started doing YouTube full time. I worked for a school board for 18 years. Uh, for the first five years, I worked in a high school in Aurora called Dr. Williams, Dr. G.W. Williams Secondary School. Uh, I worked there for five years and then there was a job opening up in the media department for the actual school board. So I worked there for the, the remainder of the 18 years. And, uh, and then, then they changed my department a lot to the point where I just didn't like being there anymore. And that's, and I just waited until at that time my wife was working substitute teacher jobs so she didn't get benefits and all that stuff and uh, benefits are extremely important in Canada uh, anywhere in the world if you can get benefits with your job that's awesome uh, so as soon as she got a full-time job with this with another school board just north of here called Simcoe school board uh, once she had the job and we had full benefits I left the school board and went on my own not necessarily to be a youtuber but to do video production and I, I try to join up with hey, you saw my leg it's funny on on a wide-angle lens my legs looks really small Woo. Um, oh my gosh that's just crazy uh, so I originally like joined a bunch of business court took a bunch of business courses try to get my video production company going but all of a sudden my YouTube stuff started taking off and I just went with it uh, I still at this point in time have about five dance studios that I do every spring. Uh, there is a job that I could possibly do uh, in September, October, November, December, and but I'm debating on whether or not to take the job because uh, it will definitely reduce how many videos I'll be able to put out uh, or at least the length or whatever, but I'm, I'm just debating on how I'm going to be doing this um, because every month I just... YouTube just keeps getting better and better and better. So by basically November, I don't think I'll need any other job to help me out or help out my family. So that's what's going on right now. Uh, thanks for all your input yesterday on what I should do with my main channel with all the extra videos on it. A lot of you guys say it's not confusing. Like maybe one or two people said it's confusing. Maybe one or two people said, take them all down. Uh, a lot of people are very supportive in the fact that they're like, we don't want you to spend your time doing that when you could be making more videos for us. Uh, so that's great for all your support. I'm glad that when you go to my channel, my main channel, like the only way you'll see all my videos is if you actually go to my main channel and then, you know, you could go through all the playlists and none of the playlists are, uh, or all the playlists are food related except my adventure ones, which people kind of like to, to see me jump out of airplanes, walk around the CN Tower and stuff like that. So I kind of keep that one there, but everything's all food related. And if people just go there, they don't see really anything else. But if they click the video button, uh, as it, it as it stands right now, it'll, it's all food. But if they click the most viewed, which a lot of people like to see what your most viewed video is, as soon as they click that, then it comes up with a cat video, um, uh, an egg opening video, uh, like Kinder Eggs or whatever. Those are my two top number one videos. And then, then it's like four food videos. And then it's mixed in with uh, gaming videos and roller coaster videos but as the food videos keep getting more and more v views it's pushing all that stuff off that main page so basically probably by next year everything will be pushed right off that page except food videos so might as well leave it on there so thanks for all your feedback guys i really appreciate that it'll save me a lot of time uh I might actually go through and just delete maybe like one or two gaming sections that are kind of don't get a whole lot of views anymore. So I'll remove that to clean that up a little bit, but everything else is perfectly fine. So I'm here at Silver City and I'm going to be swatching Maleficent or whatever. It's the Sleeping Beauty movie. I'll tell you what it's like when I'm finished. So this is the inside of the Silver City theater. There's the back. Obviously nobody here. Nice. 
just me and the wife, who you can't see. <laughs> I'll let you know what the movie's like when we're done. Well, guys, Maleficent was an amazing, amazing movie. It was magnificent. And uh, yes, I did cry. Uh, the way they changed up the story was absolutely fantastic. I give it a 10 out of 10. I totally recommend it. On my rating scale, even though it's usually for food, today it's just for movies. Go check it out. It was absolutely fantastic. As for my 100,000th subscriber video, uh, somebody said that they wanted me to do the draw your life. Uh, I think I'm going to wait till I hit like 250,000 subscribers for that. That's when it gets really cool and, and even more people see it. If I do it too early in my YouTube career, then uh, it might get slowly hidden uh, amongst all the food videos. Uh, and that's another thing too, is I'm going to have to like eat during it or something because people generally want to see me eat crazy things. But I think people might want to hear the whole story. Uh, you know, after this kind of disaster of the songification thing. I'm so happy that you guys are so supportive. And like I said in one of my, I actually put a comment in there after maybe seven hours of the video being up and seeing how fast we were getting dislikes. I put a comment in there saying, you know, this many likes and this many dislikes equals this many uh, interactions with my video. So it all is good, but and it'll still are dislikes, but then so many of my supporters were just clicking the like button just to keep ahead of the dislikes. So it's got a lot of uh, ratings is what I meant to say. So for my 100,000th uh, video, I, I offered the whole Oreo cookie thing. And some people were like, nah, that's not really blah, 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 blah. And uh, so I didn't get much of a reaction out of that. But so what do you guys think about doing the ghost pepper challenge? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Please share this video because uh, I would love to get as many people's feedback as possible. Should I do this? Uh, I, I, I'd like to do this, like do, I'll do the, the largest pepper in here. I've never, oh look at that, look, it's like a mouth. Hello. Uh, I like to do this with a bunch of people around me. So I might get my buddy Paul in, involved and a few other people. Ben was probably want, will want to be there and videotape it for me. Uh, but we'll probably do it in a backyard so that I can vomit. Uh, or freak out. Actually, I don't think I've seen anybody vomit on these, but I've seen them vomit on the uh, Carolina Reapers. Chuck from the Bronx threw up within, I don't know, five seconds after swallowing it. Like he put it in his mouth and chewed it and chewed it and he was reacting and reacting. And then I think he tried to swallow it and then his body just like convulsed and shot it out. So I don't think I'd ever want to do a Carolina Reaper. But let me know in the comments below about if you want me to do it, if you want to see me in pain and 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 moaning and it might be actually quite entertaining and funny. Uh, but for my 100,000th 100, 100, subscriber video, I'll do a ghost pepper. But let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Bye. Uh, for the rest of the day today, I have to work on Emmy Made in Japan's video that we did at McDonald's with the McFlurries. And then I have to also work on Dame Drops uh, Sonic milkshake rev uh, review and collaboration. So those Emmys is going up Thursday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, Toronto. Uh, Dames is going up. I think we're going to put them up at 6 o'clock p.m. on Friday. So stay tuned for that too. Uh, but check out Emmys for sure. Uh, she likes putting her videos up at 12. So well, that's what we're doing. And uh, what else? I oh, yeah, because tomorrow I'm going down to the Google offices and uh, hanging out at the YouTube thing. Uh, I was invited through my toy channel. So I got an email uh, and I was invited because of my toy channel is is as good as it or what they like my toy channel for whatever reason and they want me to come down and learn how to build my audience and all that stuff and uh so that's going to be a very cool day and I, like i said i'm going to be vlogging that for you but it'll probably be a late night vlog upload because i'm not sure what time i get back from that so i'm heading up to uh barry to do a bunch of things uh one of them i have to drop off a dvd to a client uh I have to go to the bank and get some information because I think I already told you that uh, I used to get a check from Google and that's how I get paid by YouTube but they've stopped checking and now they've only gone to uh, 
a direct deposit. So I don't know some of this banking information that they're asking for, so I had to go to the bank. I printed off a sheet. I'm gonna get them to fill it out for me because uh, I just don't want to do it wrong. And if I don't do it really fast, then I'm not gonna get paid this month and then I will die. Um, what else am I doing? Uh, I also have to print off a bunch of DVD cases to finish off two jobs, which is awesome. I, I know I've got two more after this, and if I can finish them by the end of next week, I'll be breathing much easier. Uh, I haven't even started Emmy's video yet. I gotta get it done tonight. Like it's gotta be done tonight for tomorrow. I won't have any time. Uh, tomorrow night I might have time to do dames, but I have all Friday to do dames if I, if I need to, so I don't have to uh, stress myself out too much about that. Uh, so uh, tonight I'm just gonna work on Emmys, have a rum and coke, relax. Tomorrow is downtown and uh, I'm still debating on what I'm gonna do for my 100th vlog. Probably eat something. So I'm just waiting in Staples right now to get my case covers printed. Uh, doesn't look like they're crazy busy, so they don't have to charge me the express rate or the rush rush order charge uh, prices. Uh, so what I'm gonna do, I think for my 100th vlog, is I'm gonna zip over to Tim Hortons and do uh, their Oreo smoothie thing. So I'm here at Tim Hortons to celebrate my 100th episode vlog. And I'm gonna try that Oreo ice cap thing. Uh, they're doing renovations to this one, so I gotta move over to here. Thank you for giving some more for new chicken. Hey Brittany, how are you doing today? I'm good, thank you. Uh, I'd like to try that small Oreo thing. The ice coffee? Yes, please. The ice coffee, you know? Yeah, that's it. Okay, will that be everything to you today? Uh, does that come with whipped cream and the chocolates or the Oreo stuff on top? Or? Yes, it does. I'll do that for sure. Okay. Where would you like me to go from here? Is that everything for you? That would be, thanks. Okay, pull up to the trailer window. Thank you. So, Tim Hortons has this really neat thing where they shut the whole restaurant down, renovate the inside, but they still keep their location open by having these trailers. Let's see if we can get our food through this trailer window. Thank you. You too. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are parked. Uh, again, this is to celebrate my 100th uh, vlog. I'm gonna change hands because it'll probably be better for the camera to deal with that. Uh, this is the Oreo um, cappuccino, or ice cap, as they say. So it looks like they have Oreo bitties on the top, whipped cream, and it looks like it's your typical ice cap that's been blended with Oreo stuff. Right off the top, it just tastes like uh, one of the Supremes, um, Ice Cap Supremes. Uh, but within the first half sip, I got Oreo chunks stuck in my straw. There you go. Problem diverted. So a lot of Oreo chunks in there for sure. They should have a better straw. Mmm. That's gonna hit the spot. It's not crazy hot out today, but it's just the right temperature for a nice ice cap. Thanks everybody for watching my vlogs and thanks for hanging out. Chances are you all haven't seen all 100 uh, vlogs of mine. Most of them are on my, my main channel, but I decided to separate my vlogs uh, from my main channel just because everybody only wants me to put food on that main channel. So uh, this is my vlogging channel, and like I said, we're over like 2,300 subscribers on this channel. It's gonna grow rapidly over the next six months. I just know it, thanks to people like you sharing my videos. So congratulations and cheers to you and cheers to myself. Hmm. cheers to us. So I just finished at the bank. I got my information to give to Google so I can start getting paid direct deposit. I just really hope that they, convert the money 
fairly <laughs> at a good rate too because like I said I could put it their American money into my Canadian or my American account and then just wait for the uh, Canadian dollar to, to be doing badly which happens once in a while and then I'd convert the money then and it would I'd make a few bucks more that's all all right so that was the Tim Hortons bank now I gotta go drop off oh I went to the liquor store too I'm gonna do a review of this someday soon bacon vodka clamato Caesar I've seen a bunch of commercials on this and uh, I'll give it a shot I'm not sure exactly when this will go up uh, maybe next week or the week after but I bought one since I was at the liquor store to buy some Mount Gay this is to honor my friend who lives in um, Barbados. Uh, they also they have two rums that I like, Mount Gay Rum and Coxpur. <laughs> they both have two funny names to their to the thing, Mount Gay and Coxpur. Go figure. But this is that, that's to honor Rachel. Hey Rachel, how you doing? Send me an email once in a while, geez. Oh, and I wanted just to quickly rate this. At this point in time, the the liquid of it doesn't really taste like an Oreo. Uh, every once in a while you get Oreo cookies in there, but I'd, there's other things. So I'd, I'd probably rate this uh, an indifferent, just to give you guys a heads up. Although this isn't really a food review, this is like an indifferent, I wouldn't get it again. But uh, whatever. So I've got the water. Now I'm heading over to one of the dance studios. Drop off a DVD that I promised one of the families who bought one. I forgot to put it in with a box. Or actually they ordered it late and then I forgot to drop it off at the studio. So I'm gonna drop that off now. And then I gotta get home. Uh, in either my wife's taking Ben down to work tonight at Wendy's or or I'm gonna take him down. So I gotta get back there by quarter after five. Chaos! Arr! Well guys, that was a really long day. Although it was very busy, I got a lot of stuff done. Two of the th super important things that I need to get done right now is this vlog. And also I have to get Emmy's uh, video review up uh, for the McDonald's McFlurry because hers goes up tomorrow but she needs the video tonight or at least have it linked up tonight so I have to send her the link for my video to put in her video so and then vice versa and then I also have to do Dane's tonight because uh, if you're part of his Patreon thing I, I'm not sure what, what else you call it uh, special rewards thing uh, you get to watch his videos the day before so if you belong to his patreon then you can watch his day, his videos the day before I was thinking I didn't have any time or I had lots of time to do Dames Friday but it turns out I need to get it done right now so it is now 20 after 10 so I have to work my ass off between now and 12 o'clock get the stuff done Put it up online oh my gosh it's gonna be a chaotic night anyway guys thanks for watching ken's vlogs thanks for sticking around for 100 vlogs if you've actually watched them all and we'll talk to you later man bye sam <laughs>